Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the uh, for February 2016 is what I was trying to say there. And uh, this month you have a crazy month. You start off with the Two of Diamonds. Really good card, all about matching up perfectly with a business, a business idea, a job, a business partner even. If any of you that have a business meet up with somebody in a business partner type capacity this month, this card is very positive for those sorts of interactions. Uh, if you don't have a job, you could meet up perfectly with a job that makes you really happy. Um, and of course, if you're retired, this could be you meeting up with something else financially you know, positive, maybe like somebody who helps you plan out your finances for your retirement or something along those lines. Uh, usually uh, this just represents a, a good financial match. So there's a million different ways that can play out in your life. But again, a lot of you could be seeing some really good positive financial matches this month. And that could directly have to do with the fact that you have the King of Clubs, Jack of Clubs, and the Queen of Clubs in your reading, all three. Um, this has, I don't think it's ever happened for any sign. Um, so you're definitely dealing with like a lot of fiery energy. I think some of these people are coming in in the capacity of love, some of them business, some of them work, some of them just people offering you advice and things. But you have the Jack of, I mean, the King of Clubs coming up first. And I think this is coming up for some of you in love. A lot of you could be dealing with fire sign, you know, that comes off. That's very strong. And I don't attach sex to my cards. So this could be male or female. And again, this would be love for a lot of you uh, out there. And uh, that's how it feels, the King of Clubs this time. And, you know, like I said, I think a lot of you could be dealing with this in love, a King of Clubs. And um, they would definitely be more aggressive. They might even be a little bit more of a go-getter this month. So if you're already in a relationship with a fire sign, you could be dealing with somebody um, who's definitely kind of like going to be more active, uh, more on top of things this month, which is nice. But a lot of you also could be dealing with a difficult fire sign who's being difficult this month. And uh, just know that. But um, let's move on to the Jack of Clubs because this is feeling like a more important card. A lot of it feels like for some of you, it could be somebody young coming into your life or already somebody young in your life that's going to become very important for, like I said, for some of you, it's, it's seeming like it's going to be work or business that this person comes in. And again, they would be younger. You would be taking them on as more of like a mentorship type of role. So a lot of you could be doing that in work or business. Um, for the rest of you, it just feels like somebody maybe like a son in your life or a nephew or something along those lines. It does feel very male. Um, even though, like I said, I don't attach text to my cards, this card in particular feels very male for you this month, and you could be dealing with somebody who is a fire sign, again, male, younger than you, and you needing to offer them some advice or something along those lines. It also has a lot to do with planning, so you might be helping this person do just like a lot of planning for life in general, a lot of life planning, and you could be important for that. I mean, you as a Taurus, you're very, you know, kind of determined and very good and very stable and steady when it comes to these planning things so it does feel like you're going to be dishing out some advice and then of course we have that queen of clubs coming up another fire sign i really think for a lot of you this could also be uh, where the business thing comes in so if those of you tourists that are in business or have a business this could be that partner that we talked about at the beginning with that two of diamonds here uh, and if you're not in business the queen of clubs comes in and really wants you to develop a deeper trust. Sometimes the Queen of Clubs actually has nothing to do with a person coming into into our lives. Sometimes the Queen of Clubs asks us to get a little bit more aggressive ourselves. Like she wants us to really go for something and there's something that possibly you aren't going for. It could be a person, it could be a, a job, like I said, a business or some idea that you have or some creative endeavor. The Queen of Clubs does a lot. She is, you know, to me, she is the type of person who has has like, you know, like three businesses, a job, uh, and a, does a bunch of other things as well. So she's kind of like a jack of all trades, and she wants to do a lot. It's kind of like a card of exploring and definitely planning because it's a club's card and doing all these things. So it does feel, you know, she's very active. So it kind of lends a very active energy to your entire reading for the month of February. I think it's going to be possibly a crazy active um, month here and just doing a lot. Even if we just took all these court cards here and just looked at them as an energy around you, it would suggest that you're going to be very doing a lot, very active, kind of playing a lot of these roles. I flipped the deck over because I just wanted some more clarification and, and grabbed the bottom card, which is the five of clubs. 
planning, a lot of planning this month, a, a lot of activity. Five of Clubs can represent being spontaneous, doing some like crazy active things. So I, I think your key word is uh, activity this month and kind of balancing those things out. Fives can represent needing to balance, definitely needing to balance some things out. So I think you'll be rather active, but also, you know, it all looks good um, and positive. So I would be happy with that. So thank you for watching and enjoy the month.